Well, we're going to try to build a cold frame. This is going to be a little mini greenhouse, little hoop house kind of thing that we can sit on top of a raised bed. So, here we go. <laughs> Okay, first thing we did, I bought 12 foot 2 befores had the lumber yard cut them in half, so I ended up with 6 foot pieces. Now I measured 2 foot off the end of each one and marked them. So now we're going to cut them up and screw them together. A stack of four foot boards, a stack of two foot boards. What we're going to do is we're going to take the four footers, two of them, like I say, this is for two of these because I'm building one for my daughter too. You should take two of the fours and screw two on the end, and that's going to be your frame. So let's do that. Your frame. I don't have much time in this so far, about 10 minutes. So let's get on to uh, making some PVC hoops. Well, all right, here's the next leap of faith. What I've done is I've put some screws into this tabletop. This is just an old, this was actually the table I used in my greenhouse that's going to be torn down this year. But the screws are there as an aid, as an aid to uh, bend it around, to bend that plastic pipe around. Now I've not done this before, so this will be kind of fun. We'll just have to see how it goes. All right.
Oh, there we go. That wasn't so tough. Uh, other than it being kind of a three-handed thing, it worked out pretty good. And I've marked it where I need to cut it off. Had to flop the pipe around a lot. That was kind of a pain. But uh, that's okay. That's not a real big deal. So, all right. I'm going to cut that off and I'll make another one. Number two. Got all the hoops on it. That was pretty simple. I just drilled some small holes through these and some little box nails and they went right together pretty easy. Okay, it's time to go get the plastic to put on. Well, folks, that's it. This was not a hard project. All right, well, there you are. There's a two foot by four foot mini hoop house slash greenhouse set it on your in your garden anywhere whether it's a raised bed or not set it on there put your little plant starts under there or the seeds you're waiting to watch them germinate stand back and let them grow well that's it that takes care of it for today but my gosh i don't do a whole lot of how-to things like this but my gosh, this was so easy, it almost made me look like I knew what I was doing. So, all right, you folks have a quality day.